What's up? Welcome to Denwood. I am currently in Mexico. To be more specific, I am in the state of Tabasco, Mexico. Not to be confused with the sauce, it's different. But to be even more specific, I am in the city of Villa Hermosa, in the state of Tabasco, in Mexico. It is well known that this is one of the most dangerous, they say, uh, the sixth bloodiest city in Latin America. Um, there's a whole lot. There's a whole lot to get into about that. That's not important right now. Today I'm gonna to do my first walkthrough video and just kind of walk through the center of Villahermosa and see what we can find. Um, a little hungry, I'm gonna get maybe something to eat. And it's, it's kinda, of, it's four o'clock right now. Um, from what I've noticed about this city, downtown, is that people are kind of out and bustling a little earlier in the day and then kind of at nighttime, or closer to sundown, people just go home. The whole, the whole state like shuts down after sundown, uh, which is, that's a little eerie on its own. But I gotta hurry up and get outside and do this walkthrough and just kinda see what's around the downtown area of Villahermosa. So don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. This is exciting for me. I've never done like a, a travel walkthrough video and I'm excited to see how it goes. Let's get started here. This is the view from my hotel. Uh, this hotel is called the Gamma Hotel. It's part of Olmeca Plaza. And it's costing me like $42 a night on Hotels.com. Some days it's cheaper, it gets down into 30 something. Uh, this is probably one of the more expensive hotels in Centro. Um, and as you can see, the buildings here are pretty kind of disheveled and old and not kept up, which is a common theme in a lot of Mexico, especially the south of Mexico. It's just not part of the culture to really update and maintain the outsides of buildings. Uh, that goes for people's homes in a lot of uh, situations, especially a lot of like the buildings downtown and stuff. Um, what they will do often is they'll paint the front, the fascia of the building uh, to kind of make the main street look nice. But then you'll notice that the sides of the building of the same building that looks good from the front are often just old and disheveled like everything else. Um, there's kind of a charm to looking around and seeing these super old buildings because you can see that once, one time, once upon a time, all these new buildings were beautiful and this place was bustling and now it's just antiqued and I don't know, it gives it its own charm. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's take a look around. It's not a bad size room, by the way. King size bed, nice bathroom. Um, it's pretty good for 40 bucks. I gotta make sure I have my stuff. My wallet, where's my wallet? Let's go. Pretty nice dining area. This is the lobby. <clears throat> Play some chess. Welcome to Centro de Via Herbosa. Yeah, already it's like I said, four o'clock is a little bit too late to really like see the bustling people moving around. It's, I've got to get out here a little bit earlier, maybe around noon or 1 p.m., but we're going to kind of go through and take a look.
the cars will fucking hit you if you're not careful. and stuff. that wallet there. Shops. This is like where everybody comes to buy anything they need. Ooh, tamales. Maybe I'll come back for some tamales. But everybody comes here to eat, to shop, to get groceries. Ooh, elote. This is the main central park here. It's legit so hard to cross the street around here, it's crazy. What do we have? Horchata, pozol. A lot of people sitting in the park. It's Saturday. So everybody's off work and they're hanging out. We got some clubs up there. So this whole town is like super different than it used to be from what I've heard. Um, it's just so insecure that people are kind of more afraid to go outside. They do a little more on the weekends, but there used to be like a lot of street performers, um, like a lot more people than there is even here today, which is, it seems like a lot, but I guess it used to be like double or triple the amount of people around and hanging out and enjoying their day and walking and buying things. Um, it's just such an insecure state. A lot of things have gotten run down and people are scared. Subway.
Oh, it's a hotel. There's really not a whole lot on this side. The actual shopping area in Centro is like kind of smaller, so I think I'm gonna pitch around and go back that way. But the public station. Yeah, let's go back to where the shops are. I'm hungry, I wanna get something. People around here are really not used to seeing a guy walking around with a camera, nor having it pointed at them, so I'm already getting weird looks, and I'm fucking, I'm gringo, walking around with a camera in a dangerous place, so. <laughs> que paso? <laughs> that guy is cool. That guy is super cool. Here we go. This is the like, real shopping area. <laughs> Those kids just walked by and like looked at me and then laughed. This is not normal. <laughs> and to talk to the camera is even weirder for them, I think. a big electronics store. I went in there yesterday and upstairs, there's like two or three floors with tons of small little shops like to fix all types of electronics, video game systems, just like anything you could want. And a lot of it's stolen. I'm pretty sure a lot of it's stolen. Yeah, payaso. <laughs> we got some baseball. Always gotta look for the baseball stuff. Ah, that was the first time that happened. My camera actually turned off due to being overly heated. Overheated. 
Um, that's how hot it is here. Tabasco is like swamp land, so it's commonly higher temperatures, higher humidity. And I think the battery in my camera just kind of heated up and heated up the whole camera. And then while I was plugging in my new battery and cooling down the camera, some lady came up and talked to me. I have no idea what she was talking about. I had to tell her I don't speak much English and I'm not from here. Um, so that was weird. But uh, we're gonna keep going. Uh, let's go this way. Look at this building. getting a little more empty around here too. The kind of town square is right around the corner here with the like the grand municipal building. Um, and again, it's one of those areas that used to just be bustling and beautiful and over all the years of insecurity and stability and violence, like people just don't treat it like they used to. Um, so we'll go take a look at that really fast and then go back and then maybe find some food. I'm hungry. Actually, it looks like a cool bar. Maybe I'll go in there later. That up there is the lookout tower. It's a mirador. And over there is the river. They're doing a lot of reconstruction by the riverside. Pay phones. They still have pay phones. the mirador it's pretty cool I might go up there maybe in a little bit this is the main square it's like I said this used to just apparently be filled with people every day every night and when the Sun goes down it's just even more empty than this you can tell it was super cool and super pretty at, at, at one point They've been built, this is cool, actually. This is like an art installation where they built a bunch of like skateboard ramps. Most cities, they want to keep the skateboarders away. This city is like, please come here. Please skateboard, do something. That's a cool art installation for skateboarders to ride. And the most I've seen so far are two skateboarders to be here and they, they don't really use these ramps just because as a former skateboarder, uh, it, it seems like the designers of this skateboarding art installation didn't really know how ramps work. They're just not super fun, useful skateboarding ramps, but I don't know, it'd be cool to try. You see this launch here and then uh, it tapers off and it's like, straight across it's, it just doesn't really make sense you're never going to get enough speed to kind of launch that ramp it, it's it's not well done but you can drop in on this side but then look look at the other side of this drop in and you've got this stupid edge here that you're just going to get caught up on and i mean none of this is taken care of but like at one time they're trying to bring skateboarders uh, 
to this to this square here. It's a cool clock up there. This is the river and all this new construction they're trying to do for the riverside. Now, right across from this river um, is what they call Gaviotas. And that's what this bridge was made for. This, this bridge and Mirador were made to connect both sides of the river, the Gaviotas with Centro. Um, and I guess, you know, before this, I think this thing was built in the 90s or something I have to I have to figure that out again or maybe it was restored in the 90s and built in like the 60s something to that effect but uh for a long time and even if I can remember from what my girlfriend told me even in the, in the 90s you would have to cross this river by boat um and gaviotas over there is kind of where like the criminals live you know the more poor people uh the kind of bad part of society if you will um, and when they built this bridge they connected the two places but it seems as though that side is less taken care of more desperate for money and so they'll come over to this side and they'll steal and they'll rob and you know people like me walking around with a camera I'm the exact target that someone will just kind of go by in a moped or a bicycle or something and just grab it and speed off um, which is super common. That's why it's not super common for people to hold cameras around here. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that's the crime side, and this is supposedly the not crime side. But this whole place just shuts down after sundown because of the crime side, because of the gaviotas, um, which I think we're gonna try and go over there in the next couple of days and walk around uh, as sketchy as it might be. Um, we'll give that a try. Uh, but it's actually quite pretty. I can tell that once they get this fixed up, it's going to be even cooler, a little prettier. And uh, it makes me sad that all this stuff that was once probably really beautiful is run down and unused and people are scared. That sucks. Um, yeah. That's what I was going to say. Um, one more thing about gaviotas is and it's just a testament to how the city views that side of the river uh is that like when there's been flooding there's been lots of flooding over the years here like really devastating flooding in tabasco and Villahermosa especially uh when there's flooding what they'll do is they'll build up sandbags and barriers here to try and protect centro and protect the city and they just totally leave the gaviotas stranded like they basically build up a layer here to push the water to flood gaviotas, gaviotas so those people that are already super poor when it's like flooding season or hurricane type weather or whatever they're the ones that get screwed they're already poor they're already living in pretty dire situations and then the city just straight floods their part of town and you can understand why they might be a little bit upset uh so yeah i mean what I find is that most people generally are nice and they're going to be nice to you. Um, and it's usually the bad apples that just kind of ruin the bunch, right? Uh, but everybody I've spoken to, everybody I've talked to, most, most people are super nice and friendly and helpful. And, you know, people want to be good people, generally. to be a coffee shop up here like a super nice coffee shop and then obviously closed down because insecurity people don't want to come here and chill out and drink coffee anymore this was probably so nice at one point um, now they have like a bunch of people selling their shit today they weren't out here for most of the week. They're just out here because it's the weekend, I think. There's a little bit more shopping, a little more, more people around. There's a 
the stage. I'm gonna get a band together and go to these stages and just play for free. Apparently in Mexico, like they have a lot of the squares have these stages you can just play on, do whatever, do a performance. And since there's no sound ordinances and nobody gives a shit, like you could literally just have a band, go set up at a stage and just play all day without any problems. No permits, nothing. It's kind of cool. And this is the government building. Um, I'm a little worried filming just because the police here are super corrupt and they don't like that kind of shit. But uh, it's probably the most maintained building here in Villahermosa. Um, they keep all sides of it kind of clean and beautiful. Whereas every other building here is torn down, ripped up. Like those guys over there. Let's go take a look at that. just tons and tons of these big beautiful old buildings historic buildings that are just caved in and destitute it's like somebody could come in here with a little bit of money and buy up a lot of these places and make some really nice stuff or even just have a really cool place to live uh, it's just it's super poor here Like this street right up here it's kind of got that cool hillside and the colored building That's cool. What is this? Uh, the place looks like it had a really cool view. Uh, it's strange. I do have the feeling that I've got to kind of watch my back when I'm recording and stuff. Um, yeah, just because you never know who's behind you and who's going to kind of smash and grab. Check this out. Oh wow, look at that. What's that? It's like a Bel Air or something. I love street art. Everywhere I travel, I love street art. That's cool.
just word of advice, I'm an idiot. Don't go walking down the middle of the street anywhere in Latin America like I am. You will get run over. I'm probably not gonna last that long. <laughs> yeah. Park here. I already got a tour of this park, kind of. And at one part, uh, at one point in time, they had this cage filled with all these beautiful birds. And you know, Mexico, Mexico, they did not take care of the birds. They probably all died, and they just stopped. They stopped putting the birds in the cage. You can just you can see all the attempts that were made here. And then they just let it go. They just let it die. Hola. Super cool back there. I'd like to walk deeper into the city, into places like that. The problem is, I mean, there might be cool stuff over there, but there's just nobody. There's, there's no action, there's no people. Wow. So not only do you put yourself in more of a risk for kind of getting robbed, you're the only guy walking around with a camera, but like there's not a ton to see between kind of viewpoints, you know. Um, you kind of just go where the majority of the people are uh, if you want to get good footage, I guess. construction over here for a place that has a lot of beat-up roads and a ton of beat-up buildings they sure seem to be doing a lot of construction right Shops are already closing up. It's like five o'clock. center of Centro kind of just did like a big circle and we're gonna go meet up with my girlfriend and then maybe get some food
loads of police everywhere all the time. And I, I've legit heard that the police around here are the real threat, the real gangsters. Like, I honestly think the people are more afraid of the police than they are of like the bad guys. There's like a lot less cars than there were before. It's just the time for everything to slow down. Alicia, don't kill me. Boy. And we're back at the hotel. We're gonna go grab the girlfriend. And I think I wanna try one of those tamales. And maybe something else. Yeah. automatic door. You just knock and it opens. It's crazy. Huh. Who's this? Is there somebody behind? What's up, Eddie? Um. 